we've issued that weather alert day this morning. Again, it's becoming apparent that we're going to be tracking some strong to even severe thunderstorms later on today. Now, these things are going to be moving in fairly soon, uh, really a little sooner than what we typically see for some of these storms, these stronger storm chances. But we're going to be under the gun until about 9 o'clock. So this is going to be an all afternoon into the evening type of event. The windows, unfortunately, fairly wide open here as we head throughout a good portion of our Monday large hail. Damaging straight line winds look to be the primary culprits here as we head into today. We have already even been issued a severe thunderstorm watch. Now this could change here in coverage or time here. This goes all the way until three o'clock right now. Some of those pink shaded counties here really along and south of Highway 50 is where we're covering right now. Biggest threat again, large hail looks to be that biggest one. Here's how future track has this unfolding as we head into this afternoon. This is the latest update here and it's still holding off until about 11 o'clock when we see some of these storms in some of our western counties. You can see it's going to be picking on some of our southern counties, but that doesn't mean we're out of the woods here up toward I-70. Still going to be looking at some of those storms kind of coming one after another and all of them going to be posing that threat of large hail, damaging straight line winds. You can see them really start to get their act together by about six o'clock. Again, this threat is going to be with us as we head into this evening. Even though you may see one storm, it's not going to be necessarily a one and done type of situation here. You got to keep your head on a swivel. It looks like for our Monday again, threat wise, large hail seems to be taking over as the leader in the clubhouse right now, but damaging straight line winds looks to be like it's going to be having a role later on today as well. That tornado threat is pretty low as of right now, but it's not zero. So something that we're going to be continuing to track as we head into your weather alert day. Here's how future track has some of this hail possibly unfolding. Looks like it's trying to pin down two different waves. That first wave between about noon and four here. Some of our southern counties, you can see those darker colors. Means that hail looks like it's going to be likely as we head into this afternoon, but we're not necessarily done. That second wave from about four to let's call it nine o'clock later on tonight. Still could be packing a little bit of hail here in some of our again southern counties is where it seems to be favoring this morning. So something that we're going to be continuing to track that hail threat, that damaging wind threat. We don't want to completely ignore this, but we could be looking at some localized areas of flash flooding later on today as well with some of this rain and it could be underestimating some of this in some spots. But again, it could be picking up about an inch or two with some of these storms. Again, kind of following one ride after another. That's where we get a little more concerned with some of that flooding. Things finally do settle down though, heading into Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks like we're going to be building in some dry time across mid Missouri Thursday and Friday. We're looking at some more again, pretty light rain chances, especially compared to what we're tracking this afternoon. But we're also looking a little on the cool side as we head into next weekend. Look at those highs only topping out in those low 60s overnight lows. Look like they could be visiting the 30s.